Are we live yet? I guess we are live yet. Yes, I can see the first person. Hey guys, sorry, sorry, very late start to today's proceedings. Uh, uh, had a you know slight work engagement and okay, uh, so sorry, so sorry. We'll try to make it more regular at nine or nine thirty going ahead. Uh, so let's uh, jump right ahead into the analysis without uh, you know further ado. So let's look at uh, yesterday's analysis. What did we talk about? We talked about not a shorting market for every big dip you can buy, no big resistance in a long time frame. And we also highlighted this channel yesterday in a 15 minute chart trade. And we were talking about how any dip could be a buying opportunity because of this. And that was our last thesis key. You know, we did talk about there can be a resistance here. And in fact, if you look at it right today morning, the open was very close to the top of the channel and it fell. So this was a nice shorting opportunity, short term resistance. We talked about it yesterday. Then we said key from here, it can take some dip and fall back to this channel. Now it didn't go all the way back to this, but at this point, it was not a buy. It was a short term shorting opportunity, probably some hundred points here it was not bad. We did one of these at the top of the channel, which is what played out once again. We just yeah, adjust this slide. Yeah. So this was our thesis that there is a short term channel running and we have to be careful about uh, this thing. And we talked about how uh, there is a, um, you know, so my preferred trade for yesterday was uh, 15,700 plus uh, calls sell. And we were talking about. Uh, straddles and strangles which also we could deploy at around um, you know um, 15 500 15 600 but largely we talked about this which is uh, sorry okay uh, which is the 15700 plus calls thesis why did we talk about 15700 plus calls because the resistance here so largely it seems to be an interesting bet to take uh, so somebody saying racing wedge here. I am not able to see the wedge here. I don't know why I am not seeing the wedge. Pricing wedge, uh, which wedge man? I don't see the wedge. In one hour chart, there's a wedge. Is there a wedge? Okay, if somebody has that wedge, please share it on Twitter and tag us and we'll be very happy to look at that. Okay, so the chart basically, although it is at a peak, we have to understand one thing that today there is a small hanging man. Kuch bhi bolo, this is a small hanging man, right? This is a hanging man. It's a very tiny candle. A very good hanging man is a proper hanging man in the sense that there will be a tiny body. The candle will be large and all, but this is a small hanging man. And I'm not saying that this is a very good signal to short, but I'm just saying that here we'll see some kind of resistance emerging. One, the top of the channel, the two, the price action is a hanging man. And because of the hanging man, Although tiny, if it was a long hanging man with a long tail, right? I would have said this is probably a shorting signal, but this is not really because all these candles are tiny. There's a there's a change in the range in which Nifty trades every day. But comparatively, all said and done, this is a hanging man, and you should be careful when a hanging man pattern comes. So, top of the channel could see some resistance here. So I don't want to really buy it at this point now because I think there's a small short term resistance in the way of Nifty. Now let us look at option chain to collaborate our hypothesis which is absolutely right because look at this right 15800 1 million calls 15850 almost a million call 15950 almost a million call 16000 one and a half million call today if you look at it right there is not much of a put writing majority is call writing so option chain says that boss there is heavy selling in calls not so much heavy selling input so that's a sign of things to come. Also, if you look at daily option chain, right? The call side is now 15,800 is now the largest OI. So that is 15,800 CE is the single largest. It's a large OI now. I mean, 16,000 is the largest, but then you know how round figures far away attract so much more 
so i don't really want to consider the 16000 because it's a it's a long term sorry it's a round figure and far away otm so it could mean anything but among the things which are near atm 15800 has emerged as a strong resistance and 15 15700 pe is also large but smaller right if you look at pcr pcr has decreased from to yesterday yesterday it was 1.2 which was very high now it is 1 which is down from 1.2 okay so so far chart option chain pcr everything is indicating some slowdown in the upward momentum index has been demonstrating so i am not saying uh, i am not asking you to short i am not saying this is a shorting market all i am saying that this is not a buying market and if you are planning to buy you might want to wait for the dip to meaningfully enter the correction right now let's look at fii data this is interesting for the first time in a long long time we have seen fii selling calls and buying puts and buying quite a lot of puts 4000 quantities of calls sold 14000 quantity of puts bought this is massive massive negative signal also if you look at put call ratio here from the fii the puts are way more than calls you can see that this gap is widening which is also usually a bearish signal so fi option data daily data is negative monthly data is negative sell call buy put bearish so this is bearish fi futures data is neutral because there's hardly some 60 crores of sell which is nothing uh oh, sorry now let's move to fi stock data quickly fi stock data 1600 crores negative this is a massive massive big figure if you look at the last few days ka series you will see that we have never seen an fii selling so much in cash uh sorry fii is positive da is negative so positive i'm so sorry i read this wrong positive at 1400 crore types so long term data is still positive because this is stock data so what is the verdict verdict is that there is a pause in the bullish momentum right now and we can see a dip so i am just saying that not a time to go long not really short this is a pause you can sell calls temporarily or something like that but i wouldn't short futures or buy you know far otm puts or anything there is a pause to the bullish momentum that's all unlikely to cross 15800 in this expiry so my range is 15500 to 15800 uh i mean i can say that the range can also be here at the bottom which is 15700 just want to play it a little bit more safe because i am not super comfortable with the size of the channel this is a tiny channel and if this goes to this channel which is below then we can see around 15 600 or something coming here so i'm just trying to play this safe and i'm going to say you know what 15 500 15 800 i'm comfortable in the range 15 700 might just be broken so trades what are the trades trades are fairly straight forward 15 800 call sell is a fairly interesting trades if you've done it already yesterday great hold on to that tomorrow depending on the market we can think of adding more calls 15700 call sell is aggressive but doable no call buying for sure no future buying for sure can you buy a put that is an interesting question so let us look at that objectively right the market is here either it will be 15600 types expiry or it will be 15 550 types expiry now the problem is if you look at the premium of let's say the 15 600 put or yeah so 15 600 put is trading premium of 20 rupees not bad 15 700 is at a premium of 45 rupees so this might not make money because if 15 650 if the expiry comes to it will just break even 
so yeah probably i won't really buy a put because even if i am playing so okay let me put it this way right if i buy this put 15700 and the in expiry happens at 15600 i'll only make 50 rupees right whereas if i sell this 15 800 call i can almost make that much money taking so much less risk so my preferred trade for sure is call selling and i won't do put buying simply because the range is tight and unless there's a big move puts don't make money okay so yeah jacob is saying the loss of momentum is also validated by the bearish rsi divergence yeah it is very highly probable uh that uh, you know uh, there can be a bearish um uh, uh a uh, divergence somebody is asking from a computer engineer background how did you become a pro day trader yaar galti se cat likha yaar i wish i hadn't i wish i had stayed an engineer but galti ho gayi so and then i had to go into this entire prop trading and all that nonsense so <laughs> it was so much more cooler being a developer and building useful stuff so usd i so let's move quickly move to um uh, yeah today there's no pressure cooker so <laughs> uh let's quickly move to bank nifty let me just turn off my daylight let me pop out this graph okay nifty bank interesting so yesterday we talked about it right that there can be a resistance near this channel it is playing out exactly that way if bank nifty is progressively putting up with resistance and if you look at it if you connect this channel it has broken below the channel so even in bank nifty right i strongly feel there is genuine weakness because yesterday we drew this line which was a support line today it has closed below that support line so there is a possibility that we'll can see bank nifty at around 34000 if this sustains because this line which was where all the tug of war between bulls and bears used to happen has kind of cracked so do i buy puts no absolutely not because i don't know how much upside is there but i'll be very happy selling calls than buying puts and yesterday somebody was asking can we do bank nifty option chain this is we can absolutely do that yeah there's no issue at so um if you look at this oh this is interesting bank nifty has a very low pcr almost 0.55 which is very low and you can see that calls are way more dominant than puts so 35500 pay you can clearly see so you see this right uh this was kind of where bank nifty was stopping somewhere around this level and you can see that in bank nifty option chain there is heavy put writing at 35500 and we don't see an equivalent call writing sorry call writing at 3500 we don't see any kind of equivalent put writing here so the this call 3500 oi is way stronger than any puts oi so now this is kind so a low pcr plus this open interest on a call plus the weak looking chart sus- making me suspect that bank nifty is not a good time to enter bank nifty probably i might want to enter here because there's a 100 dma and this channel here but this point this is not a long market this is probably a sell call market on bank nifty finally moving to our least favored everyone's yara dollar dollar is showing you a bullish harami today and if you look at it as somebody was pointing out in the chart there was a huge spike in the spot towards evening today which yaar huge spike to nahi main bolunga it's not huge it's like a tiny spike right i don't know if it is huge uh, what is this some fourth like 10 point paisa spike that's not major but the point is it is forming a bullish harami candle which is basically this red followed by this tiny green where green is completely enclosed within the red so there is a possibility that dollar is bottoming out here and it can go up now the catch is this if dollar goes up it's very highly unlikely that nifty can do- go down so probably i look to long dollar at this level but uh, ah okay karthik it is post 5 pm 
यार वो तो ट्रेडिंग व्यू में आएगा समबडी इज आस्किंग 500 मिलियन वर्ल्ड बैंक लोन फॉर इंडियन कॉर्पोरेट्स धीरेन इट्स अ वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन एंड माय आंसर इज दिस राइट यार ये लोन के बारे में जिसको न्यूज़ जानना था वो न्यूज़ तो उसको 2 महीने पहले ही लीक हुआ है सो पीपल हैव ऑलरेडी फैक्टर इन दिस न्यूज़ दे ऑलरेडी नो दिस सो प्रोबेबली वी शुडंट रियली बी looking at this news and trading because it's already factored in right so i probably wouldn't do that i'll just do one last exercise because because we have opened bank nifty let's not make it incomplete so bank nifty weekly on daily activity let's see what has happened yeah you see this right i mean this is very clear everybody sold calls on bank nifty today and people unwound puts today and this is the option chain this is very clear bank nifty is not a long market at all it looks like it is it has some downside there all right so that was uh, year and news take it trade with crop for the simple reason that year nahi year hari haran this is the problem right nothing is based on if you ask me honestly nothing is really based on macroeconomic data because whatever macroeconomics or data we are looking at people inside trading companies already know the news already know the data all we are trying to do is figure out what they are trying to do so that we can bet with them um to think about it right how do you explain nifty at this level with this economy if it was all about macroeconomics ultimately technicals tell you what people are actually doing macroeconomics is just news and hoo ha so sorry <laughs> i don't know what hoo ha means but i never believed the news guys anyway uh, that's an interesting story which we'll share at a time when we have more time for sharing stories so so yeah so this was uh, our analysis uh today we'll have our next uh, analysis tomorrow i hope you guys have a great expiry week this week uh, please don't trade unless you absolutely need to trade please don't take unnecessary risks uh, you know always always uh, uh, preserve your capital chidambaram is asking how should we decide uh, if premium is good enough here think about what range you want to play if the premium till expiry is less than the range you want to play it's great but if the premium is very big and it won't cover the range then don't buy options uh nitin is asking can we do condors here you can do condors of 15500 800 it will reduce margin not a bad idea but then my question is why not do a call spread because the 15800 is a uh, resistance we are better off doing the spread than doing the condor right agar downside lag raha hai there's no point selling the niche wala option right Uh, i mean just my take i mean if you think 500 will hold absolutely do it here but if it corrects it'll be thoda tension wala cheez cheez to hold on to the 500 put uh yeah we will do a qa session here this week let's do a youtube live with only qas you know that should be fun we will promise this sunday probably we'll do a youtube live session uh which is only q and a session ask me anything on options on sensible whatever so uh so thanks again guys for joining again these are not investment recommendations please don't take a trade because you know somebody on youtube like me asked me uh asked you to take a trade uh yeah bushan we love you man so <laughs> sorry somebody was commenting on so anyway thanks again for coming uh and attending this session uh we'll see you tomorrow again uh, standard disclaimers i'm not doing this as advice only as analysis uh so thanks again uh, please uh, have a very safe expiry and preserve your capital guys uh, good night take care